eyes and remove your headwear for the singing of our Canadian national anthem. Oh Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love, in all thy sons command, with glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God keep our land glorious and free. O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. That's right, you want the vinyl spinner. Yeah, that's right, with the infamous Johnny K. And we know Dee Louisa Downs here. Hey! It's episode 215, A110, L35, it's October 24th. Woo! Oh yeah, we got a great show here for you. Hey, it's the beginning of... I just had to get that in. We're starting a new reality show or something like that Yay. yeah so hey um let me just tell you what's coming up today because again we got a great show we have as always the calendar of coolness so if you're cool and you like doing cool things we well, gotta stay tuned for that okay we're gonna discuss the lingerie football league that's right you haters i'm sick and tired of all the misogynists out there that don't want girls to play football in their lingerie. How dare you be so cruel to women? So let, we'll talk about that. We have some new vinyl. <laughs> we have the new Muse LP. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah. I'm all to, excited here. I have to tell you the winner dealer, <laughs> Weezer Dana. Yeah. I have been, um, I have been bullied, bullied. in a sense, for oh, having really? that Muse record. Really? I am being very disrespected for it. Really? By a few individuals. Do you want Look, me to go and lay some smack down or something? Maybe. 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 We'll, we'll discuss yeah. that a bit later. None of this trash talk and muse. What the hell? We're going to talk about expensive costumes for Halloween. That's right, because we, as a people, have bought into this whole crap about Halloween, and we have to go buy costumes. And we have to pay too much money, so what do we do? We whine and complain about it. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about archaic packaging. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, stay tuned because that's exciting. Discussing archaic packaging. Oh yeah, I love talking about archaic packaging. Yeah, so Who stay doesn't? tuned. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Okay, um, we're going to talk about rural Abbotsford, a place called Bradner. I used to live there. I used to live in a place called Bradner and it was nice until I got older and I had to do other things other than spend three hours a week mowing the freaking lawn oh. aside from other things. You didn't have one of those ride-ons, eh? No, we oh can't have, no, because there are too many trees and bushes in the way and stuff. That's right. Oh. It was the 90s, and oh. I was still pushing the lawnmower. Oh. That's right. You guys think you have it tough? You Occupy us think you have it tough because you have everything you need, but you want more? I had to push a lawnmower. That's right. Some people can't even wash dishes without a dishwasher. I had to push a freaking lawnmower. I still push a lawnmower. So we'll talk about that in a bit. We'll talk about we'll talk about um, other things too. Let's see. Do I have, let's see, because maybe the rest of our discussions, maybe it's all just filler. Let's see. We're gonna talk. About, oh, we're gonna talk about the quality of life again. We're we're gonna you know this has to do with like the occupy the occupy movement and stuff, and uh, you know we all need a high standard of living. You know, hey, some of you kids go to Syria for a while. See how much you like that. Then come back here and you'll see how good you have it here. Oh yeah, you will. You will, I promise. Then we're going to talk about pizza. Because, mm. you know, everyone loves talking about pizza. Yeah, I like eating pizza. <laughs> More so than talking about it, but... Alright. You know, I can talk about pizza too. 
Mm. Okay, yo, so so yeah, we're good to that. But first, first, let's uh, just um, turn that down a bit because we and our dealer Weezer Dana. Yeah. We have the new Muse LP. <gasps> Take some pictures. Freaks of joy. Take a couple of pictures here. Take maybe one more. Okay, I'm having Bring close up. Okay, do a close up. Yeah. Oh. Hold on. Okay. Shiny. Okay, so I'm handing this record over to Dana. Now, you can catch this footage. Well, it depends. I might delete this because, you know, I only have so much memory on my card. I might have to delete stuff. I might have to delete stuff and whatever. Anyway, you don't need to be bothered with information like that right now. Here, let me just snap some photos of Dana. She is... Put, put the record right up close to the microphone because sharing with you right now the opening of a mint brand new sealed record this is muse folks second law i i i kind of cut a little opening there for you to start oh uh, you know maybe you're oh, still oh, oh oh yeah yeah did you hear that folks you would have heard it more if she put that up to the microphone but that's okay that's okay Normally, we don't tear it all off, but because it's a gatefold album, we will tear off all the shrink wrap. Just rip it off. It's, it's all good. It yeah, just rip it off. Rip it off. Like a three-year-old at Christmas? That's right. Whee! That's right. Hey, don't litter. I will pick it Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. Shiny. Not like you punks that go and buy fast food and just throw your litter on the road because you think it's so cool. Yeah, I'm cool, man. Look, I threw my garbage on the road. Look how cool I am. You're losers. Anyway, she's pulling out. The, okay, here, let me. Oh. Wait. All right, that was blurry. Okay, hold on. Let me take one more picture. Okay, we're not gonna waste any more time. Not, I mean, we never waste time here, really. But, but here, take the camera. I am going to put on a track by Muse. Okay, this is kind of neat. Give me, give me the whole thing. I'll just grab okay. that for you. Okay, so. I selected four songs from the album because I do admit I did go onto the internet and sample a few of the tunes. Just sampled them. Didn't listen to the whole song. Okay, I just checked out their 30 second samples and only a few seconds of those. And I figured the songs that I can play are Madness, Panic Station, Animals, and Big Freeze. Yeah, it's my ode to global warming. So, nice. um, apparently, Wiener Dealer Weezer Down, you say there's a bad word in Panic Station? Yes, it's true. Okay, well, we have a button for that. Or, if you know where the bad word is, maybe I can quickly silence the record so we don't have to press the throw up button. Okay. Yeah, yeah. but we, we're not there yet. We're first going to play Madness. So, let me, and that is not the band, not the guys who sing, it must be love. Love, love. Or, our house in, in the middle love, of our street. street. Our house. house. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, one. yeah. That, 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 that's <laughs> a, it was the 80s. It's funny. You know, I didn't like that song in the 80s, but I kind of like it now. <laughs> Anyhow. Because it's like retro now. <laughs> Re retro. I'm not into retro. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, you didn't like it, it then and you like it now. Yeah. No, that's just how it goes. It's just like, um, you know, I didn't really like Technotronic, but they're awesome. What? I mean, God, yeah, I know. They were rad. I know they were. <laughs> but hey, that was back in my Sex Pistols Ziggy Pop days. Oh, okay. Like that. that explains a lot. Yeah. So anyway. Okay. So I, I'm pretty sure that I have Madness queued up here. That's the song, folks, not the band. And, and the song Madness is by Muse on their brand new album. This is Mint. We are sharing with you the first playing of this record. Here's Madness by Muse. Come right up here, folks. Do you want me to set the camera down? Or do you want to just keep holding it? Um, 
Yeah, sure. I keep putting it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Maybe don't maybe don't focus on me so much. Oh, okay. So hey, you know what? This is good. But I thought you were a celebrity. Celebrity. Ah. Well. Well, see, I'm not so sure because celebrities are famous, but I'm infamous, so I don't know. So you'd be like an anti-celebrity? Yeah, there you go. I'm the anti-celebrity. Sweet. I have to admit, Wiener Dealer Weezer Dan, now, I'm not a big fan of Muse, but I think you knew that. Yeah. But I, you know what? These songs that we're playing today... I think they're pretty good. Stuff? Well, except the one that's a blatant ripoff of you too, but we'll we'll discuss that after. Blatant. There is a blatant. You, you maybe okay. you don't. Maybe you know you have a little bit of bias. After I play it, I'll remind you that it's a blatant ripoff of you too. Mind you, it wouldn't be the first Muse song that's a blatant ripoff of you too. Really? Or maybe it's, maybe they're subtle ripoffs. But come on, you have to do it. I mean, and and apparently, I'm not, I'm not big on my um, uh, Radiohead trivia and what their uh, what their songs are about. Mm -hmm. I've heard a few things about Muse ripping off Radiohead too. So. Well, I don't know about ripping off, but um, being heavily heavily influence. influenced. Yeah. Heavily influenced. Yeah. Okay. In the earlier days, more so. In their later days, more so heavily influenced, heavily influenced by YouTube. Okay, I think. Okay. We're good. I don't know it, but I I haven't listened to YouTube in ages. Okay, that there sounded a little bit like their guitar from. Are the streets have no name. Well, yeah. Okay. No kidding. Oh, okay. All right. That's actually the first time I've noticed that. Okay, you're gonna notice it now. Now they see. Maybe you just didn't have somebody there to inform Point you. Point things out. Yeah. When we when we play the, I think it's I think it is Big Freeze. I think it is my uh, dedication to global warming, <laughs> or the myth of global warming. You know, people hate me because I don't believe in the. Myth of global warming? That's okay. Because I'm infamous and I can do that. So let me just get something keyed up here because we always have to let people know about stuff. Like the wrong the run walk club. Run or walk for fitness and health. Okay, that's good. This song, there's probably about two minutes left. So, let me move back here. Okay, his voice is U2-ish there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, the first time I heard Clocks by Coldplay, I thought it was U2. Well... Speaking of British bands that sound U2-ish. That suck? I mean, sound... No, Johnny, tell me how you really feel. Uh, yeah, I'm not really, um... I'm not really big on British bands that suck. Sorry. I'm not big on British bands that suck, either. I like British bands. So... Not sucky um, ones. Okay, okay, so we have to kind of <laughs> just... We have to kind of stop talking for a second. Yep. Um... Because we're and... going back on the radio. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! And we are back on the vinyl spinner with the infamous Johnny K, here with also Wiener Dealer Weezer Dana. 
Hey. So, yay. Hey, we enjoyed Muse and their song Madness. I just loved that. I was, I was raving about how awesome that song was. The whole way through, I was like, that does not sound like U2 or Radiohead. No. <laughs> okay. So... so for, uh, let, let's uh, just uh, go through our calendar of coolness. Before we play Panic Station, is that what it's called? Panic, Panic Station? Station. Panic Station. So, remember folks, Fridays, like in two days, that's one of the Fridays coming up, okay? From 9 p.m. to 1 a.m., which is on a Saturday. So technically I'm there, you know, during You're two still days there Saturday, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Way to straddle the uh, midnight. Hey, to... yeah. So anyway, I'm spinning vinyl at Cheers. I might even spin Muse at hey. Cheers, but Ooh. probably only if Wiener Dealer, Wiener Dealer Weezer Dan is there. Ah, uh. because nobody else likes Muse. <laughs> oh, that's it. When this camera goes off, you're going down. But the camera's not going off because we're filming all three hours of this. I'm in control of it. Uh-oh. It can go Uh-oh. off periodically. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, Muse is awesome, folks. I love Muse. Muse is my favorite. Okay, now you're patronizing me. Stop it. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so Friday Friday nights, I'm swinging at Cheers. And um, the other, you know what? I don't, there, as far as things that pertain to the show are concerned, there really isn't anything else that's cool on my list right now, except for November 18th. Oh, yeah? What's that? BC Angels versus the Saskatchewan Sirens. In the lingerie bowl. That's right, you haters. Yeah. Why you you know set up your your picket signs and come and protest because you don't want women to do something that they want to do, like play football in their lingerie. And you know I'm sick of the double standard. Why aren't men allowed to play football in their lingerie? Hey, I, I might actually watch football if men played in their skinny. <laughs> I say there should be a men's lingerie football league. Like, this is not fair. But Anyhow, in all seriousness, I'm I'm not a football person, so. Well, I'm a football person. Real so, football, the game where you kick a ball <laughs> with your foot. That's football. Footy. 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 That's cute. I'm cute. Yes, me too. I too. <laughs> so, okay. No, 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 no. Stop, Grandma. <laughs> anyway, you know what? The BC Angels have played the Saskatchewan Sirens once this year. And? It was September 1st, and they lost 18 oh. to 22. Oh, that's not by too much. It'll no, be, it's not. It should be an exciting game. It should be. Um, I might be there, so we'll see. Is there anything else that maybe we should be noting there, Winner, Dealer, Weezer, Dan? Are you, are you aware of anything else that should be on our calendar of coolness? Well... I'm going to see Muse next year. That's on my calendar of coolness. I don't know if it's on yours, but I just thought I'd bring that up since we're having a Muse Fest today. We, we are amusing ourselves. Oh, oh, oh. And, and I want to remind you all, too, we are featuring the new Pink album, too. The only thing about, like, I think the Pink album is stronger than the Muse album. Like, that's just my unbiased opinion, because I'm not really a fan of either or. But she swears so damn much. <laughs> you She's know? like a potty mouth, that girl. Should, yeah. And, you know, and then I thought, just for irony, I, 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 focus, I pay close attention to the one with Eminem. And I'm thought, it would be funny if, of all songs, the one that doesn't have swearing is the one with Eminem. But that would be highly that, ironic. But the swear, I think the swearing came, like, the second word in, I think, was a swear. I, like, it, was, it was there. <laughs> Anyhow, okay, we're just going to move on then. We're going to move on. We're going to play the second of four featured Muse songs that we're going to feature today. And this one's called Panic Station. Now, Wiener Dealer Weezer Dana, are you quite familiar with the song so you know where the, when the swear word is coming? Yeah. Yeah? Hey, Bicycle Man Adam Bill there. Ooh. Uh, you missed Where'd he go? Oh, you, I missed you, him. You, you missed him. Okay. Anyhow, okay, so we're going to try to catch it if we don't. We're going to press the throw up button if we miss that too. I ju- all I can do is apologize in advance about a swear word that I know nothing about. If you're under a certain age, maybe you just don't want to listen too much. Yeah, close your you ears know, for while a few you, years. A cl- few yeah, minutes, rather. Yeah, close your ears while you listen to the show. Close your eyes, too. <laughs> okay, so here's Muse with P. 
Panic Station. Yeah, that's funky. Well, maybe we should crank it up a bit. See, this, this is something I can play at Cheers which, when I play my funky totally stuff. Totally funky. Now, there are two verses. The first one doesn't have it. Okay. So I'm going to tell you the first one. Okay. And what okay, you we're going to catch it. I'm ready. So you just uh, let me know. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. Okay, just let me know when it's coming up. Okay. This is cool, I like this. Hmm. It's coming? No, but... Oh, do it. Yeah, is I this the think... edited version? Maybe. I mean, it doesn't have the thing, so do you think that... I wouldn't have known except that it said on the internet there's like one song that... Then you know what? I'm sorry. I, th I didn't hear anything. Okay, yeah, I I think you're imagining it. things. No, he does if you listen closely. That's okay. We'll just fool everybody by saying we did edit it out. That's all right. <laughs> we can do that. Okay. So, Bicycle Man, what record did you bring? Because, you know, now, cause now we do talk um, when we're off the air. Because this is a reality show now. Is it? Yes, it is. On a couple of Canadian, Canadian records. I brought oh, a couple of Canadian records. Couple of Edmonton records. Okay, well, okay, tell me later then. Thanks. Okay. Um, I found out for, found out for addition to the library. Because I had music from the library here, so here's our new music collection. Oh. We actually have a jazz section now, as you can see. We actually have three jazz records now. Cool! Jazz? Okay. Cool. Oh, this is it. This is life. This is good. <laughs> this is my chair from now on. Alright, you're calling it. Now this is only what I said. Oh, <laughs> this is perfect. This chair is so good. <laughs> Did I say animals? Yeah, I said yeah. animals, didn't I? Yes. Yeah. Yep, new Canadian music from Illinois. What? Canadian music from Illinois? Yeah. Because this Canadian artist has a record deal in Illinois. Oh, okay. Okay, we are back on the vinyl spur with the infamous Johnny K with Wiener Dealer, Weezer Dana, and hey. Bicycle Man Adam. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. In his I comfy chair? I'm so comfortable, even though I'm, like, ill. Oh. Are you? Oh, what's wrong with Bicycle Man? Well, I've been doing hip-hop for years now, and that's why I'm ill. I'm, I'm a very ill are person. You, are you illin', chillin', Yo, and illin' over there? that's perfect, because this show is all about hip-hop, bling, and chicks, really? and lingerie. Are we going to play some hip-hop next? Oh, absolutely. Muse. There's, you can't get more hip-hop than that. No, don't, don't, don't touch those. those I'm just are... trying to see what the, what's new in the hip-hop CD collection. Oh. Okay. I, I recently processed CDs by Philly Moves, by Emmanuel Jaw. What else do we have here on the CD collection? Um, okay, how about we say... Ell ellipsis, Ellipsis. No. And the Nation Ruckus see. by Boombox Saints. Bicycle Man always hijacks this show. He does want me to get Actually, kicked the off. Boombox Saints and the Boombox He's Manifesto. probably going to start swearing soon just so I can get kicked <laughs> off the air. Hey, here's the thing about swearing. I had a show, or I, I, just, I just saw it yesterday. That's why we're going to do it. But I didn't, I didn't tell anybody. <laughs> well, that's our little secret. It's a good thing that microphone's on right now. So no yeah. one can actually hear the secret that I'm yeah. telling you. Okay, so I got some really great news for us. You know, 
I like to share other people's perspectives, especially when it comes to the lingerie football league. I mean, I'll even share the perspectives of somebody who claims that I condone rape just because I like the lingerie football league. How many perspectives wow. like that do you have? Like, do you collect these? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he does research. Maybe. It's my fetish. So what? anyway. Fetish? So anyway, yeah, it really turns me on. So anyway. Okay. Here's an article. Now, I have to say, I don't agree with this. This is a positive spin on the LFL. I honestly do not agree with all of these points. I don't. I agree with the overall point that we should support the Lingerie Football League. Here's an article that I'm going to share with you. We can discuss it because that's what we do on the show. 10 reasons to support LFL Canada. We're going to do um, up to number 6, or down to number six and then we're gonna play another song by muse so let me just start with the intro here adding a new dimension to the growing history of women's sport in canada the four teams of lfl canada have captured the hearts and minds of its loyal fans featuring players with backgrounds as diverse as teaching motherhood and personal trainers the league has helped transform these fearless females into gridiron heroes the league has quickly made national and worldwide news. Prior to the beginning of the season, Alicia Bell and her Toronto Triumph teammates braving the December weather at Young and Dundas Square in downtown Toronto for their PETA cause made international headlines. A brawl between Saskatoon and Regina fans has gone viral on the internet. I'm going to stop there for a second because, again, you know, it's like everything is potential fodder for the haters. And it's funny how, because there was a fight in the stands at the Saskatoon Regina game, all of a sudden, see, see what lingerie football brings? Fights in the stands. Yeah, because there are no fights in any stands in any other sport. Even in minor, minor freaking hockey, when five year olds are playing, parents are fighting each other. So don't blame the lingerie football for that, posers. I recall going to the Western Finals for the um, uh, Canadian Football League a few years ago. And there, there was five fights in the stands. At least five. They could oh. more. It's, it's an average of a fight per game when you're going to uh, like a major sport event. Huh? Sure. There are a lot of, there's a lot of assery in, uh, <laughs> in uh, you know, professional sports fandom. You get the people who are just there for the for the party and the hoot and holler and, and whatnot and, you know, getting bunch of drinks into them and they just yes, yes, yes. act stupid not everybody but you know there's always that element right exactly it has, it has nothing to do with the, you know, the, the nature of the sport the football no because every single sport will have a fight in the stands where there's great excitement and alcohol in the same <clears throat> in the yeah. same place yeah now well, can i just back that up just a second there okay we have four teams in the league right yeah toronto bc and the other two teams are both in the same province. <laughs> I'm just saying because, like, I lived in Saskatchewan for a couple months, and they have no other professional sports, right? So they just go rough rider crazy. It doesn't matter where you are. In fact, I got honked at when I went into Regina because I had BC plates. I didn't know why at the time until I was talking to someone back home, and they're like, oh, there was a big game on tonight. Like I said, I don't follow football, so it was kind of irrelevant to me. It's just kind of funny that I was getting honked at because of where I'm from. But I, yeah, football, big in Saskatchewan. I think that you're being honked at just because you're so freaking hot. Oh no! The infamous John K is, is objectifying women again. Oh no! Or more like, the infamous Johnny K, he's objectifying women again? Okay. Say it ain't so. Say Which it is a song so? by Weezer. I just thought I'd say, say that. Say it ain't so. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> okay. The Saskatchewan Bowl promises to make the rivalry between Regina and Saskatchewan as intense as the collegiate rivalries between Michigan versus Michigan State for the Paul Bunyan Trophy or USC versus Notre Dame where the winner gets the jeweled Shalala. Whatever. Shalali. Shalali. Is that what it is? Shalali. It's an Irish <laughs> whooping stick. <laughs> Another match that promises to raise the stakes in the level of competition of LFL is the first annual border war between the Seattle Mist and the BC Angels. Players from the U.S. League like Heather Furr, ooh, is that an ironic name or what? Ann Erler and Jessica Hopkins have brought great leadership to the franchises. Homegrown talent like Stephanie Manu, 
Kylie Rossler and Casey Simpson have become hometown heroes in their respective markets while helping provide a cornerstone of franchise players for the league to build upon. Aiming to be one of the fastest growing sports in Canada, the following are 10 reasons why you should watch. <laughs> 10? <clears throat> well, hey, then there's Darnell. She was on the show. But you know what? I say, you know, I'm already really excited. Uh, we're going to take a break from that. We're going to go ahead and play another song by Muse. This is a song by Animals. Dedicated to all you sports fans out there. You're all animals. Brawling in the stands. Not by you. animals. I found, the, I found the lyric sheet for, for Muse here. There's some, oh, about there's some animals. poetic stuff here. It's good. <laughs> Is there are there any swears in animal? You know what? Uh, that, that I'm can, sorry, I screwed up, that can, and that was the only here, one. Here, I promise. Here, give me this. Um, no, no, just, no, just no. Like, why, why don't. Why don't you do a reading of it before? Don't, you? don't. Well, no, I didn't realize there there was. Um, no, I didn't realize. No we, we, we can do is you can read the lyrics and like <laughs> give people a sample of what we're, what we're about to hear here. Okay, here, yeah. Okay, here. Although, here I, is my um. Your artistic I, rendering. Yeah, my artistic artistic rendering of animals. Um, sung in my impersonation of Muse. Yeah, you're gonna sing. I thought you were gonna just oh boy! Animal, you're an animal. Don't take anything less. Out of control, you're out of control. Strike those in distress. <laughs> Analyze. Advertise, expand, <laughs> bend more rules by yourself and island. Animals, we're animals. Take a picture. Buy when blood is on the street. Out of control. Out of control, crushed the bag at your feet. Analyze, franchise. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna get ahead of you. <laughs> I would like to point you to the, to the second last song in the record. As I'm reading the lyrics here that I've just found, they seem they seem like they read more like a uh, a college textbook than say a song. Well, yeah, because yeah. it's the second law. It's 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 uh, theoretical. Yes. It's theoretical stuff. The lyrics read as such: the fundamental laws of thermodynamics will fix place limits on technological innovation and human advancement. In an isolated system, the entropy can only increase as species set on endless growth is unsustainable. I, no, that's, that's the lyrics. How yeah. do you sing that? I, I, I think it is spoken. We have to hear that song because yeah, I don't see how you yeah, sing yeah. that. It's a no, woman's it, voice, and yeah, it's yeah, it's we're sounds not gonna, like an we're instructor. Not, we're, yeah, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just yeah. trying to imagine how you would sing that. It's just, you know, it's like it's, a Mars Volta song. It's, okay, it's very dubstep-y, I'm, I'm too. Kinda, I'm going to pull a bicycle man here. Hey, how about we play a song? Hey, how about that? Okay. <laughs> how about that, Muse? Here's Animals by Muse. Mint, folks. Mint. Like, Mint. brand new. No one's ever touched this record. Like, this part of it. No needle. Okay, here we go. Animals. So you were pretty close. It's a pretty good rendition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I just needed a music backdrop, that's all. Yeah. People say I don't know about music. Man, come on! I was pretty damn close. <laughs> That's awesome. 